What's going on, everybody? This is Slacker Reviews, and welcome to the first episode of my Green Day discography review. Uh, since Green Day is my favorite band, I'm going to be uh, going through all their albums, starting with this one, 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours. Uh, this is their first album on independent label Lookout Records, and uh, we're going to go track by track, and let's get started. Okay, track number one, At the Library. What a great way to kick off this album. Um... This is probably my favorite song on the album. I absolutely love it. Um, the opening riff uh, is really good. Definitely sets the tone. Uh, what one thing I noticed about this album is the guitar riffs are very distorted and just really like powerful. Uh, kind of this is probably their most like punk album. I'd say um, they kind of went for more a pop sound later on, but this is like their hardcore punk album and. Even if you think Green Day is like a super, you know, poppy sellout band or whatever, you can definitely get behind these early albums and just say, these are, this is good music. <laughs> yeah, I just love this song. It's so catchy. Uh, like I said, the riff, the instrumentation is great throughout this album. Uh, yeah, At the Library is great. Moving on. Okay, track number two is Don't Leave Me. Uh, this song, I think, is just as good as At The Library, but that's kind of where this my biggest problem with this album comes from, is the fact that, in my opinion, pretty much every song sounds the same. And I know that's a generic argument for any type of music and any album, but it's pretty much true in this case. I mean, it's all distorted riffs and, you know catchy songs and I I guess that's what Green Day always has been but for some reason this each song on this album sounds very similar I think the best tracks on here are the ones that sound different and are unique so really I, I'm going to sound like I'm repeating myself a lot on this album that's because this album is very repetitive which makes it I'm just going to go ahead and say it, this is probably my least favorite Green Day album but I'll get to that later as a song, Don't Leave Me is really good. Uh, again, great instrumentation, very good lyricism from Billy Joe. Um, in the early days of the band, you can get a sense of more emotion getting out of them. You know, first four albums, I think, and this is especially good. It's just underground music. Really uh, great song. Uh, moving on to track three. Okay, track number three, um, I Was There. I really like this song because of the chorus. I think the chorus is probably one of the best on the album. I just I love how it's just Billy Joe just blasting his vocals with really good backups by Mike. I think it's Mike. It might be Billy Joe doing his own vocals, but uh, I'm just going to say it's Mike. So yeah, good backups from Mike. Just love the blasting chorus. The solo is really good. Um, the riff's really nice too. Uh, again, problem of uh you know repeating stuff it just kind of sounds the same as the first two tracks and like i said it's kind of a running theme in here but um yeah as, as itself you know i can listen to these songs all by themselves and just like like one after another i think it just becomes too much so this is not an album i i'll listen to like like just beginning to end all the way through which is you know some later albums i can do that with but individual songs like this, I can definitely get behind. You know, I was there, good track, just as good as the first three. But that's kind of my problem. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, track four is Disappearing Boy. Now, the first thing, obviously, that jumps out at you with this song is the riff. The riff is amazing on this song. I love just the fast-paced distortion. It's great. Like, it's... What I love Green Day for so much, just their fast pace when they just kind of rock out. I just, I really get into it. Uh, yeah, I know. I've I've been to the ground. I'm not going to use the uh, the repetition argument again, but it's definitely there. Um, but I'm just this is the last time I I promise this is the last time I'm going to say the whole they're repeating themselves thing. But anyway, I I do like this song. Definitely a live staple. Uh, I could imagine. That this song, if they play it live, I can imagine we'll get some reactions from like the hardcore fans who, you know, have been with them since the beginning, which there's probably a few out there. Um, probably, I guess you could consider this a Green Day classic if you, you know, take all their albums into perspective and pick out songs from each one. 
In other words, this is probably one of the best songs in the album. <laughs> okay, track five, interestingly enough, is actually called Green Day. Um, I guess this song was probably ri uh, written when they went by Sweet Children. Um, a lot of people, I guess, haven't caught on, but the just a little secret. Uh, their name is actually a reference to weed, <laughs> believe it or not, and this is what this song is about. <laughs> Smoking pot all day. Um, yeah, it's it's a good song. Um, I guess pe um, the only reason I don't like the song is because it's called Green Day. It's kind of supposed to like embody everything. Like subconsciously, it's just like supposed to embody everything that they stand for. Since it, it, the song is called Green Day, and I guess it kind of doesn't live up to that expectation. But it, it's it's overall a good song. Um, definitely a solid track. That's all I gotta say about it, moving on. Okay, track six, I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's called Going to Plasmica. Don't laugh at me, okay? I'm actually not sure how to pronounce that, but um, this is a good track. Like every track on this album, <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, is really good. I think this is one of the most catchy songs on here. I, ca I get myself singing along to this song a lot every time I listen to it, so another... You know, one of the best songs on here. That's pretty much all I got to say. I I know there's not much to say about these songs, like I've ex I, like I've established. So I'm just gonna repeat myself. But I promise, if you stick with me to, you know, some of the later albums, I'll have more to say about each song. So yeah. Okay, since I'm just repeating myself and kind of rambling on, I'm gonna try to make these more short. But uh, track seven is called Sixteen and. The biggest thing I can say about this song is I really love the riff. I mean, really love it. Like, most of the riffs on here kind of sounds like metal shredding. Like, just, like, really high, like, fast, distorted stuff. This sounds more, like, slow. Uh, goes together with the vocals really nicely. And just a well-crafted song. Again, instrumentation, great. Solid track. Okay, track number eight, Road to Acceptance. This is another okay song definitely solid i can listen to it it's a listenable track one thing that i found about this song kind of annoying is when it starts like you can kind of hear the riff for like a few seconds but there's really no intro billy joe just kind of comes on and i thought that was kind of off-putting to say the least uh but like i said it's a it's a good listen uh track nine is called rest and the band slows it down for one track. This is probably the closest you get to a ballad on here. I mean, it's still a rocker, and it is really kind of fast-paced as far as ballads go, but I really do enjoy this song. It's nice to kind of take a break from the just fast-paced shredding and, like, hardcore punk music and just kind of slow it down a little bit. It offers a balance to the album and makes it feel like a cohesive project uh more than anything you know i i like it it's it's like i said a good listen like pretty much everything on here this album has its gems but i think the majority of it is just good listens all right guys we finally made it track 10 the judge's daughter this track i think is pretty much sums up the entire thing puts it into perspective as exactly what this album is it it's another song that sounds pretty much the same it has that formula of really fast-paced riff and lyrics about relationships and teenage life you know kind of what green day is except taking out you know some of the great creativity that was on some of the later albums the albums that we're going to get to in this discography review so yeah, another good listen, but that's all it really is to me. Like it, these songs don't, ha although good, don't have that you know that great feeling that the first, I mean that the later albums have. Uh, that's pretty much my conclusion on this album is that it's a good listen, individual tracks, but. As a full, cohesive project, I don't think it's quite there for me. But overall, decent project. Out of five stars, I, I'll give it about a three. Um, that's pretty much all i got to say. This is Slacker, signing out.